Good morning. I'd like to do our group session today using this screencast recording so you have an idea of what's done each morning. Ordinarily, you see I've selected the my client group. Ordinarily, I'd cut and paste as well all the names, but I want to keep that confidential. I could actually, or if you had an SRC, you also could just hit the wonder click and the field would start to uh, manage its stress. But the SRC is a platform for anything you want to do, and so I have my own way, and I'll be glad to share that so you have an idea what we're doing. I'm going to start by scanning the list of the Pro Tools. I'm looking for anything with a number under a thousand, and that shows me that that stress is something near us that we need to manage for the day. So going down the list, we see we want the Aura Scanner, and that's it. One of the things that has pleased me is that we are holding our energy, this steady energy, this daily energy balancing, actually is very effective even though it's just the energetic blueprint, the energetic signature, so to speak, that is actually where all problems start. And when they're not managed, they will eventually move to matter. So we're going to take a look. Well, see, we're just at about 50% strength this morning. Our physical is stressed. You go on up here to look at the crown chakra, there's some stress. So what you're doing is balancing that out. And it's extremely significant to do the aura work because that's the whole deal. The field around you is the whole deal. Typically, I would come back to that, but I'd like you to observe. And different things, different activities really can be seen in the aura. I wish I had saved it the other day, but I spent a day watching television at, at my daughter's house. And during that time, I checked my aura, and it was very, very weak. It was down in the 70s. Our goal, of course, always is to balance into the 90s, but even after the balancing, it was still in the 70s from the energy of the television. You see, we're going to be balancing to 98%. That's very respectable. And I'll go ahead and minimize this right now because you have the idea. The other thing I like to do is I have a list. And this list just grows by the day because you see with this button right here, you can take any list and scan it. And that's basically what I'm doing here. And I'm looking again for numbers under a thousand, which tells me that there's some stress. I typically put this on a notepad and then just scroll down. You see how balanced we are. Very pleased with the way the group is responding. Now we're asking for some information or some energetic balancing related to colors, but what you're going to do again, I'm going to double check because just the scan, 
your own energy system is so powerful that just the scan can balance out any stress. So yeah, you see now you no longer need that information or balancing related to color. Let's go on down. A consciousness clearing. Again, balance. I will be demonstrating these programs one by one over the period of time. But today I just want to give the general idea. Now the Genosphere, this is another example. This is a great line of healing jewelry. And I went ahead and made the list. You can do just about anything with this approach. You can make a list and actually send yourself the energy of the jewelry or crystal. Today, we're not requesting that, but again, I will be demonstrating it down the road. Now, here we get into some physical things. Again, it's not really physical. It's the energetic signature, but I want to see if any stress management is needed. That's pretty close, so we're going to do that one. And a miasm is an inherited, I call it a, a, a bug in your software, but it's an inherited situation that goes down the line from generation to generation. A common example would be if you had an ancestor who had tuberculosis, but they happened to reproduce before that was clear, then the entire generation, thousands and thousands of years back even, might have the energy of tuberculosis. And so what, what I use for things like this, there's a book out there called Balancing by Numbers, and it's by Lloyd Muir, M-E-A-R. And Lloyd Muir is in his 80s now, but when he was in his 60s, he was a dowser for the gold industry. And he had a massive heart attack, hovered between life and death, they said, I believe, five days. When he came back, he had an epiphany. He said, you know, it's all mathematical. The entire universe is mathematical. It's all numbers. And he was led to start dowsing to put frequencies together for various situations. In quantum, we don't really call it disease. It's not actually disease. It's just imbalances. And so those miasm numbers are some of the numbers that he put together. but you can Google miasm and get a lot more information. You can see, as we go down the list, how balanced we are as a group. The interesting thing is everyone has their own approach. I don't like to load the program up. I, as you're going to see, I like to focus on just what it is that we're, we're saying that day we want to work with. And again, this doesn't mean a person might have this Lyme disease or spirochete, but there is a stress. We're going to see if we need to do further balancing. We do not. Now we get into some cocktails, which are preset. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to see if we need any of those energies specifically. Keeping in mind that just the scan did some tremendous balancing. So I want to see what needs additional energy.
you can see I'm just going down the list so far. The energy we want to focus on is the miasmic, but now we have a cocktail called the Happy Socks. That's just related to a little bit of depression type stress. And that's preset for us. And we definitely want it. And this is a powerful, just, uh, I don't think it really tells you in here. No, it's not going to give you details, but this is a powerful set of frequencies that's been put together for us. Looks like we've got a little radiation stress, but our own field has balanced it out. We're going to continue to go down. Okay, so we do want a little bit of that one to continue to balance. We have a forum with the SRC and we share our information. Okay, now you're making your request. Actually, put the wrong one in there, so I'm going to go back up. I'll go ahead and. That's a great cocktail. I definitely don't want you to miss out on that one. And I'm going to just clear this one out because you don't really need that one today. You know, it's great also. And you know what? I think I'm just going to leave it in quantum. They say there are no accidents, and that's an excellent cocktail, too. The thing with working with the group energy is that each individual will take what they need and discard the rest. And it seems, from what I'm seeing, to be much more powerful to be in a group as far as the actual energetic impact. The, in, the, the benefit of getting the individual work is to know exactly where your stress lies on a personal level so you can take actions to also change some habits. And you know that I post daily and give us the information in reference to what came up in the scan. Any action you take is particularly powerful when you combine it with the energetic work. This doesn't, and I'm not saying this for legal reasons, I'm saying it because it's true. If it doesn't mean you don't go to the doctor or to a health professional. This to me is the cornerstone that I have a doctor, I go to the chiropractor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It all works together. But you're getting into the core of what perhaps is throwing your blueprint off. Now here's what I would do for the rest of the day. I'm going to start with a three-hour focus on what the scan came up with. And I don't know why the number three seems to be very powerful, but it does. And you see we're working on the Chinese elements, and I'll do more posts as we go, but this elemental work is extremely interesting. And we have set right here we want a high intensity, 
I'm going to do one hour. Do it three times. At the end of this three hours, I'm going to do two additional things. I'm going to come back, and first I'm going to scan the entire list of people in the group and see who still needs a little energy. And if you keep me provided with your contact information, and if you want to be informed, I'm always happy to do that. So that's the first thing that I would do. The second is that after the three hours is over, then I'll come back and I'll get the wonder click and uh, the group will continue to balance out. And that will go for unlimited time. It always continues pretty much through the day, sometimes into the evening. We're in a world of high stress. We're getting hit with electromagnetic frequency, our food very often is loaded with chemicals, our water, our air. We've got some high stress. That's why I wanted to start this group. So typically I'll be back and forth throughout the day checking this out and checking out the individuals as well. Now there's a lot more you can do. I'm just kind of keeping it simple today. This is the Nagong, which focuses energy. It's going to do that for a few minutes. I'm going to come back to it. I'm going to charge us today. I think we're going to charge all food and water consumed. And let's let's go ahead and put in that um, 528 hertz, which is a very powerful healing frequency. And again, under 1,000. We're interested in that one. Let's go ahead and charge for five minutes. Now, I'll come back and forth during the day to this feature and charge our field. I will charge, for example, our jewelry, our glasses, etc. Now, this shin is going to clear as well. You see, we're wanting to change all annoying behaviors, change self-awareness. And now for the Nagong, which is our focusing. Belief structure clearing and clear imposed belief structure again. So there's probably some uh, interest in how on earth this could possibly work. That would be a normal question because our five senses don't reveal the energy and the shifting that's actually taking place. Your energy is like a river. It's constantly moving, and it's a little difficult once you step away from the world of the five senses to understand exactly what's happening. But science makes this valid because we now have the technology to observe and measure. So thanks a lot. I hope you were able to get some answers from this. Remember, my phone number's on the site. If you have a question, please call, and I'll post all this on the site as well.